Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, Bohemian family. I hope you're having a very delicious day. It's Mino and Amina. We are in Kyrgyzstan. Today, we'll visit Karakol City, which is a paradise of Dungan Chinese Muslim food. We're going to have fantastic Kyrgyz street food in the market, and we'll meet a Chinese Muslim family and try their amazing cuisine in a local home. Are you hungry? Yalla! Now we are going to Karakol city, which is near the biggest lake in Kyrgyzstan. Assalamu alaikum. Wa Balak. What is this? Sausage. Sausage? Oh, what about this? Это котлет. Котлет? Котлет это мид? Мид. Ага. Картошка. Потейто. Самса. Ага. Бир. Бир и самса. Ага. Ай, молодец. Ага. Ай, молодец. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm gonna try with a little bit of chili oil paste. Bismillah. Mm. Mm -hmm. This mixed spice is very good. It's spicy and slightly sour because of vinegar. This is beef cutlet. Mm -hmm. mm. Slightly curvy flavor. Maybe they put a little bit of turmeric. Look at this triangle samsa. Oh yes. Mm, this one looks nice. This is very good. Mm. The outside very fluffy and they have layers and inside is the juicy, peppery. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Oh, bozo. Bozo. Oh. Wow. Maxim. Maxim. Oh, wow. this is fermented wheat juice called Maksim or Jarma. Mm. Wow, strong cereal taste. It's a little sour, salty, and tangy from the fermentation. Wow. We found a restaurant known for its fried legman, recommended by many market vendors. Wow, look at this fried lagman. The famous Uyghur cuisine. Oh, yes. Let me try. Bismillah. Mm. Mm. I love these thick noodles with a firm yet elasticity with a chewy and soft bite. Beef, capsicum, tiny cabbage, with lagman. Wow. 
It's savory and very smoky. Mm. This is perfect, perfect lagman. The best lagman I've ever tried. After lunch, we went to the Dungan Chinese Mosque, located in the center of Karakol. The mosque was built in Chinese style by a Dungan architect about a hundred years ago. It is a very important place in Karakol as a place of worship and also as a cultural focal point for the Chinese Muslims who migrated to Karakol about 140 years ago. It's dinner time! Our chef is making skewers with beef, ground chicken, chicken wings, and marinated lamb. It smells crazy! Meanwhile, on the other side of the kitchen, beef is being stir-fried for kurda. He adds some onion and fire, potatoes and fire, spices and fire, then a scoop of broth and fire. This chef is really serious about creating smoky flavors. He finished the dish by adding raw onion and sparkling green onion. And the final dish, Besh Parma, began with cutting up boiled beef. Add the chopped meat to the boiling broth. Then cut out the thin dough to make noodles. Oh! Wow! It's horse meat. MashaAllah! Wow! We have beef, lamb, minced meat, and chicken. Bismillah. Oh, right now. This is a minced chicken shashli. I'm gonna try it with chili tomato sauce. Whoa! A juicy combination of minced chicken and lamb fat. So tender and nice. Kyrgyzstan stir fried beef, kurdak. Oh, yes. Beef with potato and raw onion. I love this fantastic smoky taste. Ooh. Wow, look at this horse meat noodle, besh barmak. Wow. Is this horse fat? Wow, look at this yellow horse fat. Wow. The last time I had horse meat sausage, it was too fatty and salty. But with warm broth and noodles on the side, it tastes much more balanced than last time. I like this so much. <laughs> Beshmarma is so nice. Gives me so much energy. Kyrgyzstan fried donut like bread, balsa with kaimak. It's dangerous combination. Mmm, it's crazy. So nice. So creamy. And kazu, like this. Mm. And noodle, like this. Oh, yes. Borso pesh parma. Mmm. It's even better, yes. <laughs> Chak chak. Fried dough with honey and raisin. Mm? Oh. Mm hmm. Take with some honey and condensed milk as well. So it's very nutty and milky and sweet. Oh, I like it. The next morning, we headed to a famous Dungan restaurant for Chinese Muslim breakfast. There's ashilang fu made with lagman noodles, starch strips, egg, meat, garlic, tomatoes, 
crushed red peppers and vinegar. And they have a lot of different kind of Chinese salad. And we're gonna have the salad with tofu skin and the bracken noodle salad. Wow, we have Ashinyang Fu, which is Dungan Chinese Muslim food. Flow noodle, like lagman, and cornstarch noodle, and chili. Bismillah. Mm. Mmm, this is cold noodle. Noodle with cold sauce. I love these chewy and soft noodles served with a spicy and sour cold soup. Wow, the sauce is so nice. And we have sparja salad with tofu skin. Wow, there are multi layers and the texture is so nice. The combination of nutty creamy tofu skin, chewy noodles, and the spicy sour sauce is out of this world. Meanwhile, on the other side of the alley, we found a lady making deep fried turnover chibiorek with fresh chives and crushed boiled egg filling. Chibiorek with meat and eggs. Wow, the sound is an amazing, crispy sound. Makes me hungry. Oh, yes. I'm gonna put some chili sauce. Bismillah. Mm. It's packed with fresh chives, so it's not oily at all. Mm -hmm. It's crunch and super tasty. Wow! It's Kurut Paradise. Assalamu alaikum. Kurut. All Kurut. Bismillah. Mm. Very salty. At the same time, it's milky as well. This is a smoke. Oh, smoke. Oh, I like it. It's also salty, but it has full of smoked aroma. Uh, red pepper and... Red uh, pepper? Yeah. This is uh, a bit spicy. Oh, this is the best. A bit salty, a bit sour, and so chilly. Mm. This trip is sponsored by Kyrgyz Tourism. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. Yalla! Now we are going to meet a Dungan family to try Chinese Muslim food. Alaikum <laughs> assalam warahmatullah. Rahman, bismillah. Rahman, bismillah. Today, she will show us three Dungan Muslim dishes, and this is the first of them, mife. She is sauteing diced beef, onions, chili and pepper in oil. Then she pours some water on it. She pours the broth over the rice and adds the meat soup on top. Now she chops celery, red pepper, green onion, tomato, cucumber, cilantro and carrots into a bowl with the flat rice noodles. Then she pours the hot oil over the vegetables. A little bit of vinegar for a final touch. She starts our last dish by frying beef, onion, chili, pepper, and Sichuan pepper cones. She adds tomato and lamb intestine. Then she adds boiling green radish and cabbage. While the food is cooking, she makes us a simple but delicious egg and milk pudding for dessert.
This is starch jelly, one of the favorite ingredients of the Dungan people. It's also the main ingredient of the Ashilyang Fu we had this morning. This time, she adds jelly to the stew. Then she adds potato chips for the finishing touch. Wow, we have fantastic Dungan Chinese dishes. Let me try the porridge first. Porridge with beef. Oh, Bismillah. Oh. Mmm. Oh, so much dumb. Usually they have this porridge for breakfast. But it doesn't matter, you can eat in lunch, dinner, yeah. Mmm, savory, meaty, and slightly spicy. Oh, this is Dungan salad, Funchosa. Oh, with flat noodle. Oh my god, look at this. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa, texture is fantastic. It's like jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is the main dish of today. Mm. It has all kind of texture, slightly crispy, sticky and tender lamb intestine. Oh, even the soup is so nice. Wow, look at this egg pudding. Look at this, oh. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So smooth, so nice dessert, egg pudding. With raisin. Zarina, very good. <laughs> Thank you, Toshi. Don't forget, subscribe to Bohemian Kitchen. And hit the like button. Yeah.